Today I'm going to explain why I think criminal defamation laws are necessary in all U.S. states. Currently, 23 U.S. states have criminal defamation statutes. Unfortunately, a few states have repealed their defamation statutes this past decade or so. I am not a lawyer, I just want to let you know why I think these laws are necessary. In states without these laws people can be defamed without consequence at times. If the person who is defaming you owns nothing and has no money it would be very difficult to collect civil damages from them. Most states have a one-year statute of limitations for defamation cases. The one-year period starts when the defamatory statement is uttered or published. If the victim is unaware of the defamation they will have no recourse if they don't file a lawsuit within a one-year period. Once again, that's one year from the offense not one year from the date the victim becomes aware of the damage caused by the defamatory statement. I don't know about all 50 states but this is how it works in my home state. The lack of criminal defamation laws allow people who own nothing to basically get away with defamation. In states where slander and libel are criminal offenses they tend to be class A misdemeanors, which seems to be too light of a punishment for a crime like this. Put yourself in the victim's shoes for a second. Let's say I tell people in secret that I found C. Sam on your computer one day. If you don't sue me within one year of the defamatory statement you're screwed. This is something that is being done behind your back. If you happen to realize what happened and file a lawsuit, good luck collecting money from the average US citizen. Victims should have the ability to press criminal charges in this case. The following screenshots are from EFF.org and provide an overview of defamation cases. We're going to go over the basics of defamation law and show you what is and what isn't defamation. Now for information on opinions and verifiable facts, I'm going to give you some time to absorb this information. Defamation laws are different for private citizens and public figures. It is much easier to defame a private citizen. It isn't illegal to criticize or make fun of public officials or famous people. Here's some information on the statute of limitations along with examples of defamatory statements. And here's some examples of per se defamation. Not every state has per se defamation laws. False light statements. When it comes to filing a lawsuit you need to prove the following things. Someone made a statement. That statement was published. It was false and caused the plaintiff harm. And the published information doesn't fall in a privileged category. For more info read these slides. Here's information from Wikipedia. This is a good place to start if you want an overview of this topic. There's information about defamation laws internationally, so it provides some insight into defamation cases outside of the United States. You can read about the differences between slander and libel and a few famous cases are linked in this article. Finally, there's a list of countries with criminal defamation laws. Notice how the US varies state by state. If the statements made are true they are not defamatory. Truth is the best defense in defamation cases. Here's some information on privileged information and actual malice in defamation cases. Check out the differences between absolute privilege and qualified privilege along with the following defenses to defamation claims. The defenses are definitely worth reading. Here's a list of defamation statute of limitations for all 50 US states. The majority of states require defamation suits to be filed within a year. 
A few states only give victims six months, while others allow defamation victims up to three years to file their lawsuit. Here's a map of the United States, the red states have criminal defamation laws. The light blue states had laws that were recently repealed. Here's the ACLU statement on criminal defamation. I have to disagree with their position. Defamation is more than just saying mean things. Defamatory statements can cause serious harm and in most cases they go unpunished, especially if the defamatory statements are made by average Joes. The ACLU says civil lawsuits are fully capable of addressing the harms caused by defamation. I disagree, criminal defamation laws need to be passed in all 50 states. It takes a lot of time and costs a lot of money to file a defamation suit. What could defamation victims do if the perpetrators have no assets or money? These laws are even more important nowadays since social media, Reddit, and YouTube can allow someone to make defamatory statements to a large group of people without consequences. I've been watching clips from Johnny Depp's defamation case and decided to do a video on defamation law. Once again, I am not a lawyer but I really want you to realize how important criminal defamation laws are. I've noticed that true crime YouTubers make a lot of statements that could be considered defamatory. I'm not targeting anyone in particular but I want you to realize how hard it would be to sue some random guy on the internet. People with large platforms and influence on YouTube or social media should be careful what they say. Defamatory statements can cause serious harm to a person's life. I'm going to revisit the C-SAM example from earlier to show why criminal defamation laws are needed. An individual spreading a rumor like that can cause serious harm to someone. If the offender has a large platform, such as a YouTube channel, they can do even more damage. We need laws to keep these people in check. Victims of defamation shouldn't have to worry about hiring lawyers and spending time in court. Victims should be able to report defamatory statements to law enforcement directly. I'm talking about real defamation here not statements of opinion or petty insults. Even in states with criminal defamation laws they are usually misdemeanors with a one-year statute of limitations. Serious offenses should be classified as felonies and be subject to longer statutes of limitations, five years or longer, like other felonies. Thanks for watching. If you agree with me comment below. If you disagree with me please try to tell me why I'm wrong. I'm not a legal expert so if I interpreted the law incorrectly please let me know so I can update this video. I felt this was important to make since it's much harder to sue an individual than a large media conglomerate. Let's try to be more careful when we talk about others online, especially if we don't know them personally. Stay tuned for more true crime content.